will be the strength of your heart. And when you are shaking by the things which are happening in your home, God will be the strength of your heart. Praise the Lord. We are here preaching Jesus Christ to you for you to see this power. The power of Jesus Christ. So that you mustn't shake when another one will be telling you that he or she has taken the soil from where you have stepped. You will say in the name of Jesus All my footsteps are having fire Hallelujah Amen Praise the Lord So if you have Jesus In your heart Were you knowing that all your things are having fire one day I've sent a driver to go to another village to take something. So when that driver was there, then he turned next to the gate of another house. As you know that if you are on the road when you want to turn you can turn it to any side which which clear. Then that driver came back. Then one day in the church, when the spirits were manifesting, I was commanding them. They said to me, Yeah, you once sent your car to us. And your driver turned next to my gate. Do you know that from that day, I'm not longer using my gate. I've opened another one at the back. Because because the fire is still there. Look now. Your heart will be strengthened by Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That was the day which I've learned that eh, also our cars it will it will are in where they are passing they are releasing fire. What a protection. This is the protection which you cannot pay. This is the protection not from the witch doctors. This is the protection from the living God. When he protects, he protects. He will be the strength of your heart. Whatever is shaking you, whatever is saying anything against you, God, God himself is the strength of your heart. Say amen. Let us read Psalm chapter 73 verse 26 it says my flesh and my heart may fail but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73 verse 26 Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. my flesh and my heart may fail. But God is the strength of my heart. You know, some of you, it's long that 
you were promising to start something in your home even building a house it's like you are walking like a chameleon you want to go forward and then you reverse and then you are thinking that hey if the witches they can see me when I'm building this house they will kill me and again, some of you, <laughs> some you have the license, <laughs> and you can afford to buy the car, but you are caught with fear. Some when you see the car, it's like you are seeing that car coming to you. <laughs> You are shaking. You are trembling. Your flesh, your body is trembling. And you are caught with fear. But this God is the strength of your heart. I say stand up in the name of Jesus. And do whatever you want to do. If you want to build the house, build the house. Hey, if you want to buy the car, buy the car. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Only in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to cook meat and eat, cook the meat. You must say, look around hey, the witches that will see me. They, they will bewitch me and put the meat hey. for me. I say God is the strength of your heart when you are born again. Jesus. Came for you. So, so you who are not yet born again. I'm calling you now to the altar call. You are highly favored by God today. Come and receive prayer of salvation. Where Jesus Christ will enter into your heart. Your heart will be filled with Jesus. Jesus Christ who came and demonstrated the love of God. I say this is your day. This is your time. Yes, you are living in fear. Hey, you were caught with the fear. And you were having fear against the witches. Hey, come and receive Jesus. Jesus Christ. In your heart. He will be the medicine of your heart. Come and receive Savior Jesus. Quickly come and receive the Savior. You will see after you have received the Savior. He will teach you the truth. He will be the strength of your heart. Come. He loves you. Come. You know yourself that you are not yet born again. Here we are not talking about attending church. We are saying to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Come. Jesus Christ must enter into your heart. You need Jesus. You are hungry. You are thirsty. You want to stop many things. Which you are doing which are evil but you can't. You need Jesus Christ. He is the one who is able to stop all the evil things. I say come. 
He is knocking at the door of your heart right now. He is speaking with you right now. He is saying this is your day. He is saying to you. This is your time. Say yes, Lord. It's me. Say yes, Jesus. It's me. Say yes, Jesus. It's me, Lord. Change my life today. Come and receive the Lord. He is able to change your heart. Oh, he will direct your heart into the love of the Lord. You come. 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 He is speaking with you. You mustn't ignore him. He is speaking with you. He doesn't speak like the devil. Because he doesn't push people. But he is speaking with you. Right in your heart and say, Are you still seated? Can't you see that this is the day? Your day. Changing. Your day of receiving your life. He's speaking with you. Also asking you this question. What else do you want? You have heard my word. Is it hard to stand up and come and receive me? He is speaking with you. He is saying. Are you looking at the people? People are not going to do anything for you. He is speaking with you. Asking you. Do you think when you are alone you will be able to conquer? And really it will be impossible for you to conquer. You need Jesus. You need him. You need the Savior. His name is Jesus. Oh yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When you see them coming, clap hands for them. Now into the prayer of salvation. You who are here and you who are watching through the screen of television, it's him who has made you to watch right in this time because he wants to change your life. And this is the day. Follow me in this prayer, all of you. You close your eyes. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I'm accepting you. As my Lord and my Savior. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and give me new life. 
Forgive me all my sins. I say today. I believe with my heart. That you are Jesus Christ. The Son of God. And I confess with my mouth. That you are Lord Jesus Christ. Who died on the cross for me. So today, I'm receiving new life. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Put down your hands, open your eyes. You know what happened? You are born again, you are saved. You are saved. You must go and mark on your diaries, on your calendars. This is the important date in your life. Why? Because you are born in the spirit. You are in the new life now. So you are going to receive Counseling and welcoming. So it's your time to receive the counseling. Pastor Yunis, come and give them counseling. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! Let us clap hands for our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us clap hands for our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us for our Lord Jesus Christ. What a wonderful day. Oh, le chachi le 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 the day on which you are new creation. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. It says. Therefore. If you are born again. You are the new creation. The old has gone. And the new has begun. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are new people today. You are new people. The old has gone. Don't listen to anybody who can say that you have been doing this and that. The old has gone. You are starting a new chapter today. You are starting a new life today. The old has gone. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As you are children of God now, you are no more called by those names. You are no more called Gentiles. Hallelujah. Amen. You are children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You must pray. You must pray in the name of Jesus. Every time when you come across challenges, you must pray. When you wake up, you must pray. When it is necessary to pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Christ. And you must read the Bible. You must get a Bible if you are not having it. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you read the Bible, you need to pray. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you through. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Spirit will open your ears and your eyes. Because you are deceiving yourselves that you can see. You were not seeing people. You were not hearing anything. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Now your ears are open. Tu as And your eyes are open. You are going to see those things which you are not seeing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Read the Bible every day. Read the Bible. Start with the Gospels. And then go back and to Genesis. And read all the books of the Bible. The Bible is the hidden treasures of God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And again, if you were using things at home, if you are having things on your body, go and throw them away. Go and throw them away. They serve no purpose. You are having Jesus Christ. You are protected protected by the name of Jesus Christ. You don't need anything to protect you. You don't need anything. You don't need water. You don't need anything to protect you. Therefore, you just need the name of Jesus Christ. If you feel threatened, just call the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And look for a home where you can worship with other children of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ.